Hello my dear students and viewers. At the outset I welcome you all in this course of a primer to mathematical optimization. In this era of machine learning and data science, students often desire in learning essential tools of optimization theory and methods because machine learning and data science ideas essentially exploit the powers of numerical linear algebra statistics and optimization in quite a few years of my teaching experience i found that students often use optimization algorithms in their realistic and academic fields but face difficulty while figuring out why an optimization algorithm is converging to an optimum solution in case i explain them the reason behind the convergence of an algorithm with the help of a few mathematical inequalities or by the tools of calculus then students never find that optimization is fun they feel that optimization is really a very mathy topic the very reason behind not finding this optimization is fun that optimization as a field arose out from the interplay between calculus and geometry without geometry thus optimization is really incomplete once i explain them the reason behind the convergence of an algorithm with the help of the geometrical intuition once i explain the geometrical intuition behind the development of the optimization algorithm or once i explain them the geometrical interpretations of the mathematical conditions being used in a particular convergence result then students quickly grasp the idea behind the convergence of an algorithm being used in their particular field of study i thus plan to explain almost all the concepts of this course with geometrical intuition first and then with mathematical rigor so that the students feel optimization is fun i envisage making this course a complete ready made package for the beginners in mathematical optimization complete in the sense of its mathematical orientation geometrical intuition problem solution sheets complete lecture notes and assignment sheets however due to a time limit of each and every lecture i will not have enough time to prove each and every particular result that i would state and use however after stating a result if i will not have enough time to prove it i will not just hand wave for its proof but i will rather pinpointedly locate you some locations of some standard books from where you will find the detailed proof after attending this course students will learn standard methods and fundamental results in optimization this course covers core concepts of continuous optimization and gives a thorough introduction to the theory and methods of constrained and unconstrained optimization problems this course is for an undergraduate a postgraduate or a phd student whosoever begins learning mathematics behind optimization however the student is expected to have a rudimentary knowledge on real analysis calculus of one variable linear algebra and coordinate geometry in order to make this course self contained however i will quickly visit the essential required tools from linear algebra and calculus so that students will not face difficulty in understanding the concepts that will be covered throughout this course this course contains in total 9 units first two units are this calculus and linear algebra the preliminaries for this course once this preliminaries of this course will be finished then we will move towards discussing one of the prime concepts of this course that is convexity which plays a crucial role in developing theories for constrained and unconstrained optimization problems it may be interesting to learn professor r t rockefeller's comment regarding convexity 
professor r t rockefeller was one of the first persons to receive danzig prize who won the prize in the year of 1982 one of his famous articles is entitled lagrange multipliers and optimality which came out through siam review in its second issue of 35th volume in the year of 1993 where professor r t rockefeller mentions that a variety of properties conducive to computation and interpretation of solutions ride on convexity in fact the great water said in optimization is not linearity and non linearity but convexity and non convexity even for the problems that are themselves not of convex type convexity may enter for instance in formulating sub problems related to an algorithm to solve an unconstrained or constrained non convex problem therefore even for non convex optimization problems convexity is of due importance we will devote a complete unit in this course the third unit of this course on convexity discussing convex sets and convex functions in detail once this portion of third unit is covered then we will start discussing the theory and methods for unconstrained optimization problems theory part will be covered in the fourth unit fifth unit is for numerical algorithms and numerical methods for unconstrained optimization problems finishing this portion of unconstrained optimization problem subsequently we will move towards theory and methods for constrained optimization problems in developing algorithms for constrained optimization problems we will require quite often dual variables or lagrange multipliers to be used and therefore we will devote a complete unit on lagrange duality theory that is the seventh unit of this course the eighth and ninth unit the last two units of this course are on algorithms for constrained optimization problems eighth unit is on linearly constrained problems and ninth unit is for non linearly constrained problems these are all nine units of the course a detailed lecture wise plan of the entire course is already live in siam web page floated by nptel where i have mentioned in which particular lecture number which portion of the course will be covered i named this course as a primer to mathematical optimization primer because this course is a foundation course for optimization mathematical because this course is not going to be a plug and chug kind of course where just the numerical methods or working schemes of the methods will be talked this course is basically to discuss mathematical foundation of optimization algorithms and their rigorous convergence behavior i fervently hope that after attending this course students will learn mathematics behind optimization and find that optimization is fun